I'm Laura Hernandez with Cirque du Soleil here in Las Vegas, home to some of Cirque du Soleil's greatest shows. Stick with me as we go through the paces with one of Cirque du Soleil's elite performers and their coach. Today's workout is all about love. We'll be working out with Alberto, a performer in the Beatles' Love. Love is a show filled with dancing, acrobatics, and the music from the Beatles. Alberto performs the aerial rope act, which really challenges the core and the upper body. He's here with performance conditioning specialist Matt Miller, who you may recognize from other episodes. They'll show us what kind of workout it takes to feel the love. Hey there, Matt and Alberto. Matt, do you want to tell us what we're doing today? Yeah, absolutely. So we'll be working with Alberto today. He is an aerial rope artist here at The Beatles Love. Rope is an apparatus that challenges primarily the upper extremity, but also some lower extremity. And because of its vertical orientation, the core is constantly being challenged as well. The goal of this program is to create movements that challenge both the upper and lower extremity in conjunction with the core at all times. This conditions the performer to control their movements in a way that makes them look effortless to the audience. That sounds incredible. I'll leave it to both of you to suck it out. <laughs> As per usual, we're always gonna start with our movement prep and warm up. And make sure to consult your physician before doing any workout program, just in case. So today, uh, just like in the previous workouts, we're gonna do the same warm up and movement prep, which is gonna consist of the high knees, butt kickers, jumping jacks, air squats, and heel touches. So Alberto, let's get you started. Let's get those high knees in. We're gonna do two sets of 20 of all five movements. So let's just give me an example of that first high knees. Go ahead. Perfect, so you can see his shoulders are up, his knees are coming up past his hips, and his back is straight. Perfect, Alberto. The next movement we have in our series is the butt kickers. So knuckles are on the butt, chest is up. Go ahead and give us a couple of those guys. Good, and as you can see, his knees staying underneath his hips, his chest is staying up, and he's fully contracting those hamstrings for each rep. Perfect, Alberto, thank you. All right, the next one we have up is jumping jacks. So for jumping jacks, the one little caveat that we wanna make sure we do is keeping those elbows straight in order to warm up those shoulders as much as we can. Perfect, so as you can see, he's keeping those elbows straight, and more importantly, as he gets to the top, he's keeping those arms behind his ears to keep that posterior chain of those shoulders involved as well. Perfect. The fourth movement is air squats. So he's gonna start with his feet underneath his shoulders. He's going to place his hands out in front of him and he's gonna drive those knees out a little bit to keep them over the toes. The first movement he's gonna do is drive those hips back and then drop his butt down below his knees. Good, Alberto, go ahead and rep a couple of those out. Excellent, try to drop a little bit deeper. There we go, good. There it is, excellent. Perfect, great job. And the last and final movement we're gonna do in this series is a twisting heel touch. So go ahead and open that stance up, turn those toes out, keep those hands out to the side. Good, pushing that butt back to initiate the movement. Go ahead and twist down and reach behind that foot. Good. And initially, if you're not mobile enough to reach behind the heel, you can start reaching just behind the knee and try to, with each repetition, to reach further and further down. But remember to always drive those hips back and keep your chest up. Perfect, Bert, awesome. All right, so now that we've finished that part, we're gonna move into the active mobility part. So we're gonna go into that first section of the hip flow, which is that lunge. Good, so lunging in here, place that hand on your knee. Yep, right hand comes up. And the active portion of this is he's gonna drive his hips forward. We're gonna try to open up the front of that right hip as much as we can. Nice job, Bert, perfect. All right. Doing each of these, we wanna do two sets of 15 to 20 seconds of each of these movements. Go ahead and drop down both hands to the inside. The effort here is we wanna keep those hips down and that chest up. This will increase the stretch and the mobility of that outside left hip. Good, Alberto. Next one, place that right hand a little bit closer to the inside. We're gonna open up that shoulder. And now we're gonna involve a little bit of thoracic mobility along with the hips. Good, Alberto. Last one of the series, you're gonna sit back onto that knee. We're gonna straighten out that front leg. Good. What we wanna do here is the active part of this one is we wanna dorsiflex those toes up to the knee. We're gonna squeeze the quad. 
and that will inhibit the hamstrings and allow them to stretch. So from here, Alberto, squeeze those quads, pull those toes up, and go ahead and lean forward into that stretch, keeping your back straight. Awesome. Just gonna hang on to this for a couple seconds. And then a mid-stretch change if you want. You could bend the knee just a hair, and that will change from behind the knee and kind of get it more into the belly of the muscle. Perfect. And you'll just repeat that on the other side and go through two sets of 15 to 20 seconds for each movement. All right, so now that we've finished our warm up and movement prep, we're gonna move into our strengthening portion of the workout. So for Alberto being a rope aerialist, we need to make sure that we're incorporating as much core into all of the movements that he does. So today we're gonna to do three movements, all using the suspension straps. So the first one is his lower extremity movement. So Alberto, I'm gonna have you lay down on your back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get them to slide his heels up into the straps, perfect. Good. And then for this one, it's all about hips and core, right? So there's three steps to this one. What we wanna do is first, drive the hips up as high as we can. Second, we wanna keep the hips up and tuck the knees in as deep as we can. Good, and then keeping the knees tucked, I want you to drive your hips up as high as you can. And now we're gonna go down the same way. So halfway down, all the way out, all the way down. Perfect, let's do a couple more of those. So hips up, tuck your knees in, drive your hips up, down, out and down, good. So this is gonna force Alberto to keep his hamstrings engaged as he's engaging his hips and his trunk. Perfect, let's do one more. In and up, down, out and down. Perfect, relax. All right, moving on to the next one. We're gonna flip your body over. This time we're gonna incorporate pushing and trunk. So your feet will go into the straps, perfect, just like so. You're gonna come up into the top of the push-up, excellent. And what we're gonna do is we're going to involve both a tuck with a press. So I'm gonna ask you to do is go down to your chest, so your chest is the only thing touching, and simultaneously as you push away from the floor, you are gonna pull your knees into your chest. So press up and tuck. Perfect, and then lengthen and touch your chest to the floor. Excellent. So in this exercise, Alberto is directly incorporating his core with his chest and shoulders as he's moving through this exercise. Perfect. A couple more, Alberto. Excellent, good. The last movement is more pulling and rotation. So for this movement, what we'll need to do is we'll need to tie the straps together. So what you're gonna do is basically place one strap through and then the same strap through again. And this allows you to use just one handle. So for this one, Alberto, go ahead and grab. So this time we're gonna involve a, a unilateral row and rotation at the same time. So we're gonna allow a little bending in the hips and the knees. He's gonna reach down until he can touch the floor. He's gonna begin by rowing in with that right arm and simultaneously rotating his trunk to reach up as high as we can on the strap. Good, lengthen, keeping that arm out as far as we can to increase the lever and row and twist. So this involves both his bicep, his lat and posterior shoulder. Go ahead and back down. As he simultaneously rotates his trunk. And you can increase the difficulty of this movement by laying further down, right? And you can decrease the difficulty of the movement by taking a couple of steps back. Perfect. And what we'll do for this series is you'll do each movement for three sets of 10. Great job, Alberto. Perfect. All right, so now that we've finished our strengthening portion of the workout, we're gonna move forward into the conditioning portion. So again, we wanna continue challenging Alberto uh, by constantly challenging his core with the extremities at the same time. So for this workout, he is primarily going to be doing an L-sit. So go ahead and hop into the parallels for me. So this is kind of the, the main portion of the workout here. Perfect, you can relax. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna ask Alberto on a running clock to go for two minutes. And he has to generate a cumulative period in the L-sit for two minutes. 
any time that he comes down, he has to go through a complete series of movements. Those movements include a rope climb, push up, swing through to dips, and then traditional kettlebell swings. And he'll do one rope climb, 10 push up swing throughs, and 20 kettlebell swings. Once he's completed that, he'll go back to the L-sits and continue wherever he left off. So if he had gone through 30 or 40 seconds, he picks up right where he left off. The workout is complete once he's finished two minutes in an L-sit. Let's demonstrate these movements. Perfect. You can keep your knees bent a little bit if you want, but as soon as those heels touch the floor or your heels come past your knees, that's when we want to stop, okay? All right, so first time or any time that you go down during your two minute L-sit, the first exercise you're gonna do is a rope climb. So Hefe, come on. Go ahead and jump on with your feet first. Tie that rope up and go ahead and give yourself a pull. Go as high as your rope goes. In this case, if you feel comfortable, you can release your feet and just climb with your arms. Excellent. The third movement is a push-up swing through to dip. So Alberto, go ahead and show him a push-up swing through to dip. Excellent. So in here, when he does the push-up, both his shoulders and his hips lower at the same rate. When he comes to the top of the press, he crunches and sits through to his heels, completes a dip, same thing, and then tucks way back. Excellent. Push up, swing through, he touches his butt to the floor, and back, excellent. So in this set, he'll finish 10 of those. When he finishes his 10 here, he will stand up, and he'll do 20 kettlebell swings. So he's gonna primarily use his hips. Good, to drive the exercise, which is gonna challenge his hips and his hamstrings while forcing his core to stay engaged in order to support the weight. Perfect, and again, you're gonna run through these three exercises every time you come down from your L-sit until you've completed two minutes in a cumulative L-sit. Alberto, you coming down? <laughs> That's good, come on down. I guess he's not coming down. <laughs> we'll see you next week, and maybe he'll come down by then. See you guys. You don't have to be a part of Cirque du Soleil to love this workout. Stick with it, and it'll bring out the best in you. Don't forget to get active with Cirque du Soleil on our next episode. Click around and you'll find more.